Mission 4, S1 Express. Welcome to Duisburg Hauptbahnhof. This is a limited stopping service eastbound. You'll be taking the train all the way to Bochum Hauptbahnhof. So, hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Delta Games Race 2020. Another run down Hauptstreck Rhein Ruhr. So it's mission four, day four of our five day mini series. And another run in the DBBR 425. Where they've certainly uh, picked up a bit since our last service. It's uh, 9 pm again, sorry, 7 pm again, so it's an evening run. But we have got some, we have got clear skies, snow has cleared up. Being a limited stopping service, so we get quite a fair bit of time to uh, push the train right to its uh, speed limits today. So I'm quite excited for that. So yes, yeah, running the S1 train to Dortmund. A fair few services moving at the time as well. I guess this is the uh, towards the end of the evening rush hour. So we get quite a few people starting to make their way home at this time. Alright, trains in forward, lights are on, passage lights are on. All that's left for me to do is move the motor controller forward. Right, first stop is Mulheim. And that's in just under 8 kilometres. Points. Make sure that you don't start going too fast over these. Make sure that you've broken the uh, main station. That's speed will also have to to pick up a lot of speed. I always like these uh, early morning and late evening kind of services where the sun's low in the sky. And it kind of creates uh, almost like a hazy effect. It's not bright blue up and high. It's nice and low, nice and peaceful. Especially when it comes to flying as well. Flying is kind of a time. It's a very, very soothing effect. Up to speed now, 160 kilometers an hour, which is the top speed of this train. So maybe we'll be able to do more. Ah, uh, right, no, 160 top speed, but line of speed right now is 150. So, as we now break the outskirts of. Uh, Welcome. We can now start pushing our way towards Essen. Finding our first uh, stop and route. Welcome. Just need to move through uh, Duisburg first. Welcome to our destination, is it not? <laughs> Alright. Balance and speeds. Still got five kilometers to go. All green signals between us and our destination. This will certainly be an easy run today. Station Mulheim Vest.
couple of moments, we should then get ready to slow train down and stop at our first station. A small out breaking right now, but slowly, the closer we get, the more we start building up to that. There we go, looking good. Station platforms coming into view. There we have it. Turn a little bit more and bring it to a halt. Perfect. Open the doors. And while we're here, quick look around and again. That sun low over the horizon. Definitely a bit bigger than I remember it, that's for sure. We've got another and a fire hydrant down here missing, but unfortunately due to time, I don't think I'll be able to go grab that, I'm afraid. door handle as well. Either that or it's just a really higher uh, train door. How's the 422 in comparison? Yeah, 422 is a bit more standard with its door heights but there is certainly a bit of a jump there. Fair enough. Right, lock doors. Reset the brakes. And off we go. Next station, Essen Hex Bahnhof. Just under 10 kilometers away. Definitely more shaded now that the uh, track's in a slight cutting underneath the main road. So a fair few uh, tall houses on the left hand side as well. Just doing a good job at blocking most of the lights. Just my speed's a little bit too high now, so we'll adjust out a bit of braking. So yeah, so it's a bit more of a shadowy route at this point. A bit less of the uh, Outside visible. Just must remember, the 45 is quite a heavy train. It doesn't do a great job at coasting, especially uphill. There we go, 160. So now what we can do is just set it to full throttle and just uh, leave it at that. Just train now, essentially, do the rest of the work. Keep it at max speed. Right, the train at the speed limit does slow down here slightly, so a little bit breaking in. Actually, maybe it doesn't. Think of a different part of the line. That only counts the uh, 
up line. The down line is different speed restrictions. We have now switched sides of the uh, S1 on the right hand side now. Vantage points, watch the train go by. Is that a bridge coming up? No. There are a couple of buildings. In fact, there's a station there. Let's have a look at the station. Yeah, I do like um, Fronthausen Station. It's a very very pretty little place sitting in the uh, split between two lines. Let's call back the throttle now. Very shortly start to put a little bit of braking in now. Sometimes we're very shortly arriving at Essenhout Spanhoff. See when it's down to 1.30 now. Many kilometres to go. 120 kilometres an hour. Have a few moments or two for braking. Yeah, any spike in there, you really say, is the... Uh, Game loading up some large assets. Just for the signals, train stops. Yeah, she no trains somewhere coming in. Oh, it's this one, the uh, service we saw at Freeburg. Service just sitting there in the platform. We'll reset the brakes. A couple of seconds. And then we're ready to depart. Again, just look at that. That is. It's a beautiful scene. I'm not even looking at the railway right now. I mean, the railway's below us, but we're looking out at the, the city. It's amazing. Can't quite hear the motors. They can hear the uh, brake screeching, that's for sure. So, next station is Essen Kreisord. 
as I'm aware, will be our penultimate stop. Actually, we could be a top of here as well. We're making our way into Duisburg, uh, while we then terminate. We're at throttle. Just in a couple of moments, we're now to break away from the main line. We branch up instead to the north. So the left hand turn very shortly. Keeping on the lights in case there's a point we need to use. I don't think that'll be the case. No, we'll be alright. So yeah, the lines will left now go on the ground. Cross underneath us. There it goes. See, it has dropped quite a bit now, so we'll slow our train down for that. That comes for anyway. We'll then be our next station, Kai's Sword. So it has jumped up, but there's no real need for that. We're on surface just to our left. So you're just departing our station. That train can't really handle, especially on a higher brake setting. And there we have it. Yeah, just like the uh, slightly posher bit of tower, slightly posher bit of um, SM here. Oh, look, you spot the uh, tower outside the main station. It's just out of a uh, view for me. So, we'll be at um, Kai's Sword for a couple of moments before we depart from here and make our way to our next station. Uh, while we're here, anything nearby actually worth collecting? Uh, yeah, there's a poster there. Let me grab that. <laughs> Industry Fest at Northern North Rhine, 27th of June 2020. Hopefully it still goes on. I'm sure that'll bring a lot of bidding passengers to our railway. But uh, with the ongoing virus, June might make it. June might make it. Looks like most things before May have been cancelled. So... I had to cancel a trip to Germany last week, I had to cancel New York in May. Uh, supposedly still going to New York in April, but that will almost has to be cancelled for me. So we'll see what happens post June really. Bottom shied in three kilometres. A little bit of distance to travel in full speed, so we can leave it at max throttle for now. Again, I just love the acceleration of this train. High speeds, 
in no time at all. I mean, 160 kilometers an hour, that's about 100 miles per hour. What? So, yeah, it's a good show that. It's a really good push of speeds. Alright, let's push him off to go. Let's put some lights breaking in. Nice and slowly. Perfect. I don't like that the other train's also just about to depart. Oh, it's an S-Bahn service. I'm trying to think, you don't get too many S-Bahn services on northern routes, but I just want to take the southern route instead. There are more stations to stop at. This is more of the uh, regional line. I mean, then again, it's kind of like uh, London Overground. It does share a lot of track with National Rail. It's London service, but also not at the same time. Alright, so door will close in a couple of seconds. And then we have, I think it's just one more stop now. Yeah, next stop will be our last at Terminus. We've got a couple of seconds left, 15 seconds. Not really too much of my passengers coming at this point, I don't think. No, not really, so we'll close the doors. We'll reset the brakes. And there we have it, Bochum Health Bahnhof, our express service, at, last, at least as far as I can take it, will come to an end. Full speed now, 160 kilometers an hour. We'll see the lines come back together on our right hand side in about half a, half a kilometer. The two lines will then become four. There we go. There'll then be one Bockholm station to our right hand side. We won't be stopping there. We'll continue straight to where our service terminates. Let's bring the camera forwards. We should be able to then watch our train uh, speed past it on the platform side. Okay, it's a bit further in the head than I thought it was. Our train's not too far behind anyway. Where is it? Ah, there it is.
Right. So now I realize I'm coming in at crazy high speeds. And therefore, he's used a fair bit of braking now to ensure that we make it into the platform. Great driving for myself there. Never see a better bit of braking than that. <laughs> Perhaps we gain a whole minute by doing that crazy high speed stopping. Nice and slowly. Any passenger concussions, hopefully, we've uh, healed before we come to a stop. And people would have forgotten all about that really hectic braking. Right. Welcome to Bokholm. Only three people survived that, the rest of them have uh, sadly been turned into a pulp at the back of the train. <laughs> yeah, not the best bit of driving that towards the end. Completely uh, forgot how close the uh, station is towards the end, the um, other Bokholm station. So by the time we got back to Wawa, the speed limit has already started dropping well before then. But hey, it's only about 30 seconds or so of waiting now. Train is now departing. Got one also arriving. Additional service coming in. Nice grip in there. Very nice. And of course, you've always got these uh, Deutsche Bahn or British Rail or whatever else rail replacement services. As well as maintenance scenes that this line always been rebuilt. And there we have it. That was the S1 Express. Actually, look at the braking edit towards the end. It wasn't terrible. It was a lot, but not terrible by any means. Speed limit wise, we kept to the majority of that very nicely. And yeah, overall. Not much I can say about that. So I got a gold medal at the end of the day. And that's the main thing that matters. So it took 27 minutes. Drove a total of 35 kilometers. So uh, yeah, that was S1 Express. That was mission four of Halp Strike Ryan Ruhr. And so tomorrow, episode five, we have our final scenario for on the Ryan, which I'm sure will be uh, another fun one of low visibility and possible rain as well. But uh, yeah, until then, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, do subscribe as well if you haven't done so already, as it does help the channel out a lot, and I will see you guys again tomorrow for the uh, finale of the service. Take care guys, and goodbye.